today we will start the second chapter of standard 10 chemistry that is chemical bonding this chapter is a continuation of what you studied last year so the beginning part whatever we did in standard 9 we are going to do it in a very brief way and then we will come to something which is new this year let us start with what is a chemical bond now what do you understand by a chemical bond the bond the force of attraction between two atoms in a molecule is called a chemical bond why do atoms combine from lower classes onwards you have been studying this that atoms combine to attain stability and there are three ways in which atoms can combine the first way is by transfer of electrons from one atom to another complete transfer like i have excess and i'm going to give it away to somebody else so that is called transfer and that is exactly what atoms do here so transfer of electrons and the bond formed thus is called ionic bond or electrovalent bond or electrovalent bond so what is an electrovalent bond the bond formed by the complete transfer of electrons from one atom to another is called an electrovalent bond and the compounds thus formed are called electrovalent compounds another way of attaining stability is mutual sharing of electrons between the two atoms which are combining and the bond thus formed is called covalent bond these two bonds you have already studied the formation with examples the conditions and the properties last year but it still is there in your syllabus this year so covalent bond is formed by the mutual sharing of electrons between the two combining atoms like you make use of mine and i make use of yours but we don't completely transfer to the other that is the policy here covalent bond and the compounds thus formed are called covalent compounds the third type of Uh, the third type of bond or the third method by which an atom can attain stability is by forming coordinate bond coordinate bond or dative bond now this is something new which we have to study this year so we have to do that a bit in detail let us first move on to ionic bond we are just briefing the things that you have already learned in standard 9 ionic bond we said that ionic bond is formed by the complete transfer of electrons and how many electrons can uh, an atom transfer one two or three not more than that so let us see how atoms do that let us take the example of sodium chloride sodium atomic number 11 chlorine atomic number 17 what will be the electronic configuration of sodium 281 and what will be the electronic configuration of uh, chlorine 2 8 and 7 now we proceed with only the 
outermost electrons. Let us represent sodium with a cross and chlorine with dots 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and 7. When one atom of sodium combines with one atom of chlorine, sodium has seven electrons short of a stable electronic configuration here in the third shell. And chlorine is one electron short of its stable electronic configuration. So sodium is allowed only to lose one electron because seven electrons it cannot gain. So it can lose one electron and chlorine at the same time will gain that one electron. So this sodium will give its extra electron to chlorine and when one, this one electron goes away from sodium, now sodium ion will have its octet. Eight electrons in its outermost shell which shows its stability. Chlorine at the same time had seven electrons of its own and now it has accepted one from sodium and the seven plus one becomes eight an octet for chlorine in the third shell. Now we can show sodium one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It has got an octet but in the process of getting an octet, it has lost one electron and that will be represented by this positive sign. Chlorine had seven of its own and now one from its companion that is sodium has given one to chlorine. So we can see that there are seven dots and one cross and thus attain a stable configuration, an octet in the third shell. That thereby, by accepting one electron, it has become negatively charged ion. So, the electrostatic force of attraction between the opposite charges, oppositely charged atoms, give the molecule its stability give ionic compounds their stability. So that what is the cause of stability? The strong electrostatic force of attraction between the oppositely charged ions. And this is how sodium chloride remains as an entity in the form of ions and that is why they are called ionic compounds. We can write it as NaCl for our convenience. But whenever we see an ACL, we must remember that it is in the ionic state. Sodium is in positive ionic state and chlorine is in the negative ionic state. So this is ionic bond or electrovalent bond, formation of electrovalent bond. There are a few more in your syllabus like calcium oxide, magnesium chloride, so all those which are there in your syllabus, apart from sodium chloride, please do it in your notebooks. Sodium chloride, by now you must have understood. And similarly, you are going to do the formation of magnesium chloride and calcium oxide. What is electrovalency? Electrovalency is the number of electrons lost or gained by an atom. So sodium's electrovalency is 1. Chlorine's also electrovalency here is 1. Okay? So this is the end of electrovalency.